What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be talking about the Man of Steel sequel, okay? Just right now, at Comic-Con 2013 uh, in California, it was announced by Warner Brothers that there will be a sequel to Man of Steel coming out in 2015. And here's the big news. It will feature Batman. And it seems to be like big on Batman. It's not, it's not like some like cameo from Batman. It's like literally Superman versus Batman. And so um, it's, that, that part hasn't been confirmed. We don't know what the story is going to be, whether Batman is going to be a villain or not. But you can uh, deduce quite a lot uh, just from what happened. So let me give you a quick paraphrase. You can look up the details anywhere else on Google. Basically, they didn't just out and say it. They made it very dramatic. They got um, an actor from the first Man of Steel movie. He played the general, uh, the U.S. Uh, general in the movie. But basically, he came out and he read a quote from what I've been told. And the quote is pretty long, but to paraphrase, it is simply um, from the perspective of Batman. And Batman is saying pretty much how Superman will always remember this day as the day that Batman was the one person who ever defeated him. And after that, the crowd went crazy because right after, they released this image. And it was... Um, the Superman logo, which isn't actually an S, it's it's more like a shape, uh, and um, it's it's not really an S uh, from the Superman universe. But yeah, you got the Superman logo and then the Batman logo right on top of it. So you have like the wings coming down and then the S in the center, and yeah, the crowd went crazy. And so there's so many implications and a lot of conclusions that can be deduced if you look very closely. First off. Um, we can we can be sh we're not sure but we're i'm pretty like i'm like 80 percent sure that uh christopher nolan i believe that's his name who was part of the dark knight series will not be returning in his role for this movie and first off the biggest piece of evidence is that symbol that they displayed at comic-con um the wings are pointed down and it's a different it's it's a completely different uh Batman symbol than the ones that were constantly displayed in the Dark Knight trilogy. And so I think that trilogy's, trilogy's done and ended with. And if you still don't believe me, go to Christopher Nolan's Wikia or Wikipedia page and look at his filmography for the next three years. Uh, he's pretty booked, okay? So uh, there's no way he can even make a cameo appearance. And this is not a role for just a cameo appearance. And the next thing is literally uh, the fact that uh, this is all coming out in 2015. So 2015 is going to be a huge year for superhero movies at the very least. It will be as a lot of people call heaven, but that's technically only for the superhero geeks out there. But uh, basically you're going to have Star Wars 7 coming out, which is uh, from a new director, J.J. Abrams, who did Lost. And he's getting a little bit of hate because, you know, he's this new guy coming in. And it's some people are almost viewing it as non-canon. But um, I'm sure it will, it will do fine. Everyone's still going to watch the movie. Uh, it might be canned. It might be, you know, shut down by critics. But there you have it, 2015. Um, I can talk, like, 20 minutes on that, but that's for another video. This is about Superman. And also in 2015 comes out Avengers 2. So it's a big year. Uh, Wolverine 2 is coming out this year. So uh, that's also very big. But yeah, 2015 is going to be a pretty big year. And so the next implication from this is the fact that this thing is... It's probably going to have to feature Batman for extended amount of time. Which means he will possibly have to be the main villain or technically anti-hero. Um, and most likely what's going to be done is he's either going to be the only villain in it like in the first Man of Steel film uh, by the way I did a review on that movie and there's a lot of points I didn't like about it it was meh compared to the Dark Knight trilogy you can check out my video for free on that in my YouTube channel but basically um, it, it could be done like that where he's the only villain and that's it but at least from like, um, I mean, if you look at the Dark Knight trilogy, 
uh, there's there's usually at least two villains in it, but um, most of the time there's one main villain and either one or two minor villains that are briefly introduced in it. Like uh, uh, again, spoiler alert: uh, Scarecrow and then the Joker and then Bane and then Bane's uh, that girl that helped Bane out. Who knows what her name was? But um, it can be done like that with Batman being the anti-hero and then like a few minor villains along with him or it could be like Batman and then, then like a couple other villains and the reason is like it's it's very confusing how they're going to structure this possibly uh, they're going to s start off with uh, Superman being the corrupt one that's what I how I feel it could be uh, Superman just too arrogant too power hungry or just lost sight of things because of his superpowers and then Batman putting him back into place but based on the quote that was given at Comic-Con and maybe it was just a random quote they decided or maybe this was based on the movie but the quote was a very dark quote from Batman and it almost seemed to imply that Batman was was the villain in it because it was like you will remember this day as the day that I defeated you. It was it was almost it was pretty much what a villain would say to Superman. And it's it's very, very scary. And it's I'm for sure it was Batman who said it because he mentions his own name, um, Batman, in the quote. So it's 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 going to be very, very epic in many ways. And I do have to uh, reference back to this little memory I had as a kid. I don't recall which animated series it was, but I remember this scene where Batman and Superman meet for like the first time and they start fighting. And at the time as a kid, I was like, Superman has to win. He has invincibility. He has, he has superpowers. He's almost indestructible. He has massive strength, superhuman strength. And basically what happens, at least in this anime series, is um, a theme of brains beats brawn. And basically Superman in this scene, was, he, he had gotten arrogant and forgotten his ways. And he was just too cocky and doing things immorally. Not horrendously immorally, he still had good intentions. He was just doing things that should have been done better. And then basically the theme was very clear. Uh, Batman outsmarted Superman despite Superman being horrendously stronger and he somehow like uh, trapped Superman in like a, like a, like some sort of concrete confinement by his own doing because he had been outsmarted and uh, basically he like he bent the, the tr he bent the trap himself so he pretty much ended up creating the trap himself which captured him and then Batman defeated Superman. And so if, if any of you are comic book junkies or fans, then you know that this is just one parallel universe in the multiple universes of DC Comics. And therefore you know that just because he won in this universe doesn't mean that he would win in every other universe. There's a lot of different variations of Superman and the extent to his ability. And I mean, there's there's some universes where he's pretty much like a demigod because he he can like literally like punch out the sun. So again, uh, this is just one instance, and I really feel like this is the instance that I want in this movie because it's it just illustrates so much. Um, it illustrates how humans can overcome obstacles despite not having superpowers, and. It just gives a lot of morals and it teaches a lot of lessons. And so that's kind of the, the thing I want, but there's so many routes they could take. They can make Batman the villain because he had been tricked by Lex Luthor or something like that. Or they had just met Lex Luthor and he didn't know Lex Luthor was bad. And then Superman was the righteous one and Batman wasn't. And we do know for, for a fact that this is going to be a sequel to Man of Steel. So the main premise will be revolving around Superman, not Batman. It's not the Dark Knight trilogy sequel. It's not that. So for sure, Superman has to at least be the good guy. Like that's, that's almost guaranteed. 
he has to be the main character, he has to be the good guy because this is a movie about him. But regardless, uh, back to my previous point about this this whole thing, um, Batman is one of the only superheroes that is uh, very, very popular, very well known, and doesn't actually have superpowers of any sort, no super abilities of any sort. He's one of the rare superheroes, if not the only one, that has no actual superpowers. He's a human. He has developed his skill based mainly on his money, his, his quick wit, his, his mind, and um, just his natural human abilities. And that is one of the things that just embodies Batman and makes him an awesome hero. He is in fact human, just like you or me. And yet he's defeating all these people with superpowers. And so, again, just to reiterate, I really think this is one of the morals that should be brought into this film in 2015. Just the fact that uh, despite your powers as Superman, and despite being almost omnipotent, and by the way, no one's omnipotent uh, in this superhero universe, or... Um, all powerful or um, all knowing, but um, yeah, basically, despite looking like this, Superman can still be beat by a mere human uh, given the ability, and that is the power of that man. And I feel like this would be the best premise for Superman to get a little too cocky and lose his or lose his roots in a way at the beginning of the film, and then for Batman to sort of. Uh, fix that so but but the the main thing is this film as far as we can see like Batman vs Superman it has to be a full film on these two like if it were just a like brief scene or cameo at the beginning and then they they fixed their problems they resolved it and then they band together and work to fight a villain it wouldn't be as great a film so I really feel like the film would be best if it was Batman vs Superman for the entire film or something like that. Um, if, they, if they want a film where they band together and fight a common villain, make that the, the next sequel, but not this one. And honestly, on top of that, um, I don't know. I, I think it's, it's a great thing. They're, they're probably going to make a lot of money from this. They made a very smart move in choosing to do this. I really think there's a lot of money to be made and they finally chosen to listen to the fans and the biggest thing is making sure the critics don't tear it apart so put good thought into the plot and stuff and we'll see what happens so like rate comment and subscribe for more uh, and I will see you guys later and most importantly uh, share it if you want to share it on any social networking and the utmost of, of importance, uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see future content. Just uh, click the subscribe button below, it's completely free. And there will be more upcoming if you want. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.